What's the deal? What's the deal, y'all? This y'all boy, Battle Rap Chuck, 92. Subscribe to my channel. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. I want to talk about, like, this champion of the year thing. <clears throat> I see, like, what's going on with that. I see Shug um, talking to DNA and also debating as far as with, like, a fan. Um, I have two things as far as, like, what I, you know, as far as, like, what I actually, like, want to say. Two things. But, like, I'm going to just start off with Shug first. This is the thing, though, Shug. Um... You have definitely have gotten better to me. And I really, really feel like the type of style that you have, you could give a lot of battle rappers a problem. Okay? Now, at a time where I didn't really, like, where I wasn't even really, like, feeling Shug like that, which was kind of, like, years and years and years ago when Shug, you know, had all the weight on him or whatever, I wasn't the biggest Shug fan. But I couldn't knock as far as some of the things that Shug was doing. Because what I mean by that is he was still beating, um, like, new up-and-comers. He kind of underrated as far as giving, like, them new cats a hard time. Shug is, like, low, like, on a low. Shug is, like, low-key a gatekeeper. I just kind of, like, I like I just couldn't understand sometimes when Shug didn't try. Sometimes I feel like Shug just didn't try. He just do what he do, then he just going about his business. But... He's very, very good as far as, like, what he do. But this thing, though, Shug, drugs is not a threat, okay? Um, you even got people like Stumbles that's not really a threat because he don't prepare good. Chess is definitely not a threat because he definitely never really prepares. And I'm not trying to take that away, of course, but people expect you to beat these type of people. You could beat these type of people, Suge. And I just feel like that always had been you. And I just feel like it, it just got to come to the point where it had to be a change as far as you going against opponents who you, who people feel like that's a good matchup for you, which is like a hollow, regardless if it's like a rematch with Calico, maybe um, easy to block captain. If you go against people like that, you would even be more of a problem as far as us trying to debate you as far as for champion of the year. Now, do I feel like you should get credit for battling, battling like every like two weeks or whatever, you know, doing these battle like it like a short time, you know what I'm saying? Being prepared for all three rounds. Do I feel like you deserve more credit for that? Yeah, I do. But that's just me saying that because when it comes to other people, they just going to just go off. Well, who was drugs? Who was this person? Who was that person? And not even like knocking them because, hey, you know, the fans probably just don't like them like that or or, or, or maybe they're just not good at the end of the day, right? And then at the same time, Shug, whether you like it or not, you did lose in that tournament, though. You did. Don't think that that's not going to affect it because it could. Because if you think about all the battlers that was in the tournament, they didn't win. JC won, but he dropped the ball very, very, very bad, very damn bad against Sue Surf. Swamp, he made it all the way to JC, but then he kind of choked a little bit. Swamp beat you, I think, the first round. Swamp is the one that took you out. So I just feel like Suge also have to like look at certain things like that. And I just feel like that's why he didn't get champion of the year. You lost the tournament. And <laughs> you know the people as far as like who you beat, it just if you would have had like a verb easy or a calico or somebody, John John, whoever. If you like it finds, if you would have had them type of people, you would have been straight. You probably would have been straight. But Verb was your best one, though. That was your best one. So even like when I like look at Rum Nitty, right? Rum Nitty Loki, like Rum Rum Nitty Loki had some fights this year, bro. He had a re he had a rematch with Danny, which he won. I feel like he won that one. He had a rematch. I, I mean, uh, him. He went against Fonz. He beat Fonz. 
He had a good battle uh, with A Ward, and he beat A Ward. Rob Nitty actually had some good battles, bro. Okay? And the fans, you know what I'm saying, voted for him too. Now, I know people be like, oh, yeah, the thing ain't real, or whatever. I was like, okay, cool, 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 cool. Well, if a person feels like that, that didn't win, like, and they're complaining about it, then the first thing that they should be, like, looking at is the fan vote, right? Because a lot of these people don't feel like the fan votes is real. Sometimes sometimes I be feeling like the damn fan votes ain't real. Sometimes I be feeling like that. Now, that's the first thing that I got to say. Okay? Now, even like when it comes to easy to block captain, I didn't even expect him to be on the like on the panel. I I didn't, but I did think about it one day. I'd be lying to y'all if I didn't think about easy to block captain being on the card. But it's because easy to block easy to block captain did battle probably like two to three times this year, but he battled stars. Regardless of how y'all feel about Big T, he's a superstar. Regardless of how you guys feel about Calico, he's a superstar too. And, you know what I'm saying, he's about to be battling Hitman, but, you know, that's a whole nother subject, though. Right? So, when you, like, look at it, as far as, like, this whole situation, that's why I just feel like Suge just didn't win, bro. You know, I feel like Suge was possibly top three. But other than that, I don't feel like he went. But to put, like, other people on the card that didn't really have to, that didn't really probably did that probably didn't really deserve to be on the card. It is what it is. Certain names just didn't deserve to be on the card, bro. <laughs> it's, 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 it's just that simple. And it's going to be more difficult as far as like when the app come around. <laughs> right? So, this is another thing I got to say, though. I feel like Jay, but I, like I really, really feel like Jay Black them. Champion them or everybody that's a part of champion, whoever's a part of it. I feel like this was like purposely like messed up. And what I mean by that is I just feel like all them names that was on there probably didn't really even have to be on there. Some of them. I'm not going to say most of them, but some of them. To the point where it was just purposely messed up to the point where they might not do another champion thing again. The only way I feel like J Black them is going to keep doing champion is if URL new stars, new stars stay loyal, stay loyal to them, which is Geechee Gotti, Easy to Block Captain. Fonz is kind of coming up there, but you can also put Rum Nitty, right? As long as they stay, they might still do it. But if they don't stay, I don't think URL and Champion would, would be doing the Champion of the Year thing no more. Because if they go, nobody else, nobody as far as like the new cats don't have a buzz like them. So I feel like this is purposely like messed up. And I feel like this might will be the last year of Champion. Unless you guys want to keep giving them to the vets. But URL don't want to keep paying the vets. You only really, really constantly like constantly like paying the vets is vets because when it comes to as far as battling like live, the vets, the superstars are the ones that's actually selling the tickets. So who you like look at as far as over like a Yiki Gotti or like a or or like a Easy to Block Captain, you're gonna go with like the people that was with Smack era. You're gonna go with Goods. You're gonna go with you know what I'm saying the Math Hoppers, the Arsenals, the Averbs. You're gonna go with um all these like all these people. Uh, DNA. You're going to go with K-Shine. You're going to go with all these people that came before these cats. But they kind of like low-key like faded away. They still come around. But they kind of like low-key faded away a little bit. Sue Surf. They kinda, but Sue Surf in jail right now. But they kind of like low-key faded away. Averb. Hit me holla. They kind of like low-key faded away. So then if Gigi Gotti goes, Rum Nitty goes, Easy to Block Captain goes, then what? Who they gonna like look at as far as champion of the year? Like that's why I feel like this is purpose purposely like messed up. This is probably like the most terrible time that like this is probably like the most terrible uh panel that champion them had, bro. 
it's probably like the most terrible one. But did Rum Nitty deserve to win? Yes. That's what I'm saying. But other than that, you know, them are the two things that I wanted to say. I want I wanted to address the Suge situation and also want, wanted to address that I just don't think it's gonna be another champion like another champion thing going on. You know what I'm saying? It haven't been no live battles, people just battling on the app. But shouts out to Shug though, dog, because I definitely feel like you top three. Like for real. And shouts out to Swamp. Cause Swamp might be either top three or top five. Other than that, I said what I said on it, you know, and I stand by it. But this y'all boy, Battle Rap Chuck 92. Y'all may like y'all make sure y'all subscribe, alright? Go.